Why are these rare pill guys the most delicate snowflakes online? So real quick, I wasn't originally going to cover this, but Myron, the sassy queen, is still roasting this woman online as of today. So Fresh and Fit had a podcast a couple years ago that featured famous rapper Asian Doll. Now, if I'm being honest, she's more famous for being King Von's ex, but nonetheless, she is famous. Now, the show would go on as good as any late night Fresh and Fit podcast would go. Asian Doll showed up two hours late but the energy was pretty good that is until this happened guys like, those people guys 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 sidebar them. sidebar conversations please all right what about i've you? told you this is like you know this is like the uh, fifth time i've told you that right yeah, six time like I'm stop sorry. Mm -hmm. For real, like stop. He mean as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> now I do sympathize with Myron here doing a podcast specifically with like 30 people at a time, like they do, can easily turn into chaos. So you have to be aware of sidebar conversations or a bunch of people talking at one time. And as a host, you have to consider the viewer's experience and put it into anything that takes away from that. However, Asian Doll thought this was mean. For what reason? I'll get into that in a second. But first and foremost, Myron wasn't wrong for demanding that as a host of a podcast. Last thing I want to mention is that the clip that went viral around this time was actually taken out of context framing it as if asian doll was being disrespected and that's why she left when in actuality myron mentioning that he didn't know her was after the altercation and asian doll had already left uh i don't even know who she is so uh, i don't care simple Damn. But anyways, when she called him mean he just really couldn't let that go and he goes on to say this excuse me <laughs> You mean? I'm not mean at all. Okay, I don't care. Have you been here the whole time? No. All right then, so you don't know what was happening, right? I don't right? give a fuck. Okay then. So, how are you gonna come on somebody's show, not know what go down, and say, "Oh, you're mean"? It don't matter. I can say what I want. Okay, Just well, you can get the fuck off the show too. I don't give a fuck. Get off the show too, man. What? Chill out, bro. Listen, don't come like nah, that. you can go. She ain't gonna come on the platform. Nah, chill, bro. She ain't gotta go nowhere. No, she could go. I don't have to. Come on, baby. We don't have to be this mean. We can all be. Come on. Chill out, bro. Let's calm I'm down. I'm sorry. He's hot. I'm calm. No, I'm very, okay. I'm very calm. But it's like, like, bro, you got to show a little oh, yeah, respect bro. on the platform. It's, it's it cool, respect. bro. Chill. I say you mean. It is what it is. What the fuck you want me to say? That's you not the mean, truth, though. You mad about I said mean? You grown as hell. Now say what you want, Asian Doll sells her body on OnlyFans, she's irrelevant, nobody knows her outside of being King Von's ex, and this is all true, but she absolutely made Myron look like a sensitive little snowflake here. Now, I'm not all the way on board with Myron being mean based off of this altercation alone, but it also isn't very alpha to be deeply insulted by baseless claims, like being called mean by someone that doesn't even know you. Now, fast forward to current day, and this beef is now being rehashed. For some reason, Asian Doll takes a jab at Myron over Twitter when responding to a fan. She says he was walked in the bedroom and closed the door peacefully i had 15 people in there behind those cameras and that's why i gagged him calmly we would have tore him up in his little condo now myron predictably responds at like three o'clock in the morning posting a picture of her apparent entourage sitting on a couch saying this is this your 15 niggas stop the cap you guys ran out of here because the florida castle doctrine isn't a joke this is why you have to resort to being an only fans whore because your music career is just like your tweets a lie. He then follows up with a back-to-back -back response saying, it's good to see I'm still on Asian Doll's mind two years later. Her flopped rap career and resorting to OnlyFans has her desperate for attention, while her and her low IQ fans hate that I buy real estate. Now, for some reason, Myron seems to be the only guy that doesn't know that arguing with a woman, especially a woman of color, never really ends well. And he f***ed around and found out because she responded an hour later with a full paragraph. You're balding in the middle of your head, still resort to seeing a tricot and the OnlyFans company is paying us female rappers to join with a cost that will buy your life twice. You invite girls on your podcast just to talk crazy to them and downplay them on camera, but didn't have that energy with me because I had guys with me that would have took the remaining hair off your head if you would have did a little bit more than talk shit out of your dick suckers. We all know your DL and you hate women. Your soulmate is a guy. Now, I don't judge guys who got the hair transplant. Male pattern baldness is cruel to most men, and you can tell that Father Tom was playing a cruel joke on Myron's head. But it is hilarious how he's getting roasted a couple months ago about his boss spot. And he pretended like it didn't bother him. And then months later, he pops out with a male weave. Like, yeah, if you want to keep it real, like, like a like, bad bitch, like, let's be real. You sure. say you want a bad bitch, right? Sure. At 10. You think a bad bitch is going to fuck with a nigga who got a ball spot? Like, let's be real. <laughs> oh, no. Let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs>
<laughs> That's pretty fun. So anyways, Myron responds again at three o'clock in the morning. He says, you're a struggle rapper that had to resort to whoring yourself on OnlyFans. You and your two to three dusty friends were going to see how the castle doctrine works in Florida if you didn't get the fuck out. That's why you quickly left. Stop lying to your 274 fans. I don't agree with taking shots at Myron two years removed from the situation, but I mean, welcome to Twitter where anybody can roast you with a Wi-Fi connection. So to be sitting on Twitter at three o'clock in the morning, responding to someone that you claim is irrelevant, nobody knows them, they are 304, it's, it's kind of Beta. Also, do you realize how much more embarrassing it would have been if he would have came out of his room with a gun over a very lukewarm confrontation with a parent nobody? So Myron has mentioned the castle doctrine multiple times so far, so I thought it would be interesting if I broke down with that. Myth. So the castle doctrine doesn't actually exist in its original form anymore. It was replaced and essentially upgraded to the stand your ground law. The statute states that any person in their home or car has the right to stand their ground, hence the name. If one reasonably believes such force is necessary to prevent imminent death or great bodily harm. The stand your ground law and when it is appropriate to use deadly force is incredibly complex and I would like to believe that Myron is smart enough not to one brandish a weapon he wasn't actually going to use especially if she had entourage and two to risk his freedom his life his time and his career over some unruly woman on his podcast quite literally five minutes before it was going to end anyway so then she responded back with some straight up black air force energy she said i'm from texas we was raised on shoot a pussy nigga in his face with a gun register in your name as self-defense i would have did one day in jail got out on bond and placed on house arrest while your family booked their flights to america to come identify your body by your wide ass hole and plan your burial bitch the whole tragedy in my life you invite me into a podcast i mean i didn't even do interview because the nigga that was on the couch that he posted with the hat tilted i did that for him as a favor nigga had nigga laid, literally made me like probably 40 bands of just this like two shows so i did that for a favor for the nigga that's why i was there so like you and i'm thinking you invite me to a podcast knowing what i'm going through knowing what i've been through like, it's just to get a moment to try to embarrass me so you can go viral. The universe literally reversed that shit, bro. Myron responds to this by saying, Gun to the back of your head, name three Asian doll songs. 99% of this threat can't. And I can't. I honestly, I honestly can't. So at this point, she just straight up stops responding to him. And I guess Myron felt satisfied with his performance because he stopped mentioning her as well. Or did he? No, no, he he didn't. Of course he didn't. Myron continued with some more jabs that day and even more following Asian Doll's recent beef with a woman named Jada Kingdom. Where Jada Kingdom alleges that Asian Doll had a train ran on her by four New York niggas, apparently. Myron would follow up by using these allegations as confirmation that Asian Doll is a quote whore and also a quote failed rapper that jumps from artist to artist for a buzz. Responding to DJ Academics, who is also another sensitive little guy who co-signed these claims from Jada Kingdom. Myron also went on to to potentially misrepresent Asian Doll's old tweets saying, I thought you stood with black women. What's this? I'll cook you all night, you weave warrior whore. By the way, she's actually not even mentioning him at all at this point. And people are just relentlessly roasting him for being petty and just hurt by the whole situation. So anyways, you really see where people's beliefs lie when confrontations come into play. The best example I can give of this is people that say they hate homophobia, but weaponize gayness when it's most convenient to them. And essentially this is Myron. This is a guy who claims he's always taken out of context, which has been proven to be mostly untrue. Okay, so not only did we meet and speak once, but look at this, guys. My other boys, you won't f me, then you can't get on the platform. So wait, you wanna bang a girl who just wants to come on the platform for clout? And you think that's burning desire? So he shows a text message between me and this chick. Well, I got stuff for y'all real quick that I'm gonna pull up. Oh, and no. Fresh, you wanna, uh, <laughs> He makes the allegation basically that I'm out here Weinsteining, the, Weinsteining these homes, okay? Oh, you got a smash so come on. Don't Hold on, stop the show. <laughs> I'm like Alba and Preach. I got the entire conversation right in here. Oh, All right, cool. I'm up front that I'm not going to do anything platonic with you, just being honest. I'm confused. I'm not trying to do anything with you except collab. No problem. I collab directly with girls I date. No pressure though. So if we aren't dating, you don't want to collab? No, don't mean to be an asshole, but we have plenty of women in Miami. Like, that is literally what was said. <laughs> But when he has beef with someone and is convenient to his argument, he takes them out of context. Like his reaction to Abba on No Jumper, claiming that Abba called him a racist. What am I going to spend my day socializing with somebody who's like a racist? You know what I mean? I can't be cool with people who don't have integrity. That's me personally. I'm Yet he takes this conversation right here with this dumb bimbo, 
takes this one part that I showed y'all, okay? It doesn't talk about the other entire conversation when she was talking shit late at night. I can't be cool with people who don't have integrity. That's me personally. Mm. I won't go after you, but if you're someone who I think is a reprehensible person, I'm not trying to have business relationships with you. Why would I? Fuck, well, what am I going to spend my day socializing with somebody who's like a rapist? Like, but, you know what I mean? Like, but, no, no, but, but I, I, and this is some real shit. Like, if you go around sneaking, stealing from people all the time, I'm going to look at you crooked. Like, why would I want you in my circle to someone to conversate with? Why would I put my name beside yours for my fans to be like, because if my fans see me beside you, they think I think you have moral character. Mm. And if I don't, that means I'm recommending you to people when, when I think you're trash. So my, my whole thing is I'm not going to go out of my way to fight folks for that. You could be that way but I'm not going to associate with you. The hypocrisy runs wild with this one. The same guy that says men are logical and women are emotional is on Twitter responding to people who think Andrew Tate's body composition is only attractive to gay guys. Now, I don't know what that even means. But like I said before, it's Twitter. Anybody can say anything. But not according to Myron, who defends Daddy Tate by saying this. Then why do women universally prefer a 1.6 shorter to... <laughs> Then why do women universally prefer 1.6 shoulder to waist ratio in men? Female arousal standards, not attraction, in men are much narrower than women would admit because they don't want to come off shallow. She's lying and probably fucked a bunch of dudes that look like that, that look like this, but they didn't want to commit to her long term because she's below average looking. But the reason why I made this video is to highlight the many contradictions and hypocrisy of fresh and fit because I believe what's constantly looked over is that stories like this wouldn't be much of a story if Myron didn't propagate the ideologies he does. What I'm saying is people are criticizing him not because he's Myron the super famous podcaster but because he's Myron the guy that says men aren't emotional oh wait except for anger and pride because that's manly let's normalize calling people stupid again oh wait except for calling me that that's disrespectful let's normalize bullying again but not for me do you get the message now if only i can get through to a few fresh and fit fans maybe even just one percent and cleanse them from the red pill ideology that would make my day let me know if you liked the video or if you hated the video peace